Well, here we go. December the 10th in Leeds, the IBF World Bantamweight title. It's Australia against Australia. It's a unique fight with nice history across social media. It's a tremendous fight. The champion, Ebony Bridges, takes on mandatory challenger, Shannon O'Connell, as I said, in Leeds. Two Australians ready to go to battle. Shannon, I'll start with you. Welcome. This is quite a... A unique rivalry because, as I understand it from my research, you two have actually never met, which is, is no, quite strange in itself. Um, talk to me about obviously at this stage, and it happens all the time across social media. You go back across things that have been said, and I'll talk to both of you about things that have been said. Ebony's arrival on the scene, um, you know, was quite a quick one for you. Obviously, give us your background. I mean, you've been grinding away in, in professional boxing for many, many years. And obviously, Ebony taking the fast track straight to the World Championship. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously, you know, I've, I've had I've had those fights as well. Like, I've, I've sort of never had anyone backing me as, as, like, obviously as big as a promoter as Matt Trim. I've only recently just joined with No Limits. So, um, you know, I've, I've always been the B side. I've always traveled and, and done everything the hard way. So, um, you know, when someone like Ebony or, or anyone else comes along, you sort of think, hang on, who are you? Where'd you come from? So, um, but I mean, everyone does things differently. I, I'm, I don't regret the way I've done things because I, I believe that once I get to that top level, it's going to be in so, mean so much more to me. I mean, you have been outspoken. I looked at some of the earlier interviews where you said, you know, you, you wouldn't pick her as a, a sparring partner. You said she did think she was trashy. I mean, are you still stand by those comments in the build up to this fight as well? Yeah, look, the things I've said at the time when I've said it, 100% like I, I about the sparring partner thing it was nearly two years ago that I said that and at that point I didn't nobody knew, knew who Ebony Bridges was she fought Shannon Courtney but that was the first anyone really knew of her so I mean I, I would I wouldn't have I, and I do stand by anything I've said because at the point when I've said it I it's, I, I don't take it back um it being thrown back as if to say I said it now is a, is a bit far-fetched but um you know I, I I don't I don't like the way Ebony has gone about things I think you know, if you look back to 10 years ago when there's there's girls like Susie Ramadan, Erin McGowan, all those kind of girls, we we never got recognised. We we went on all the amateur tournaments and tours and we paid our own way and where there was no respect in the sport for women. And I believe that, you know, people like Katie Taylor, like we've, we've everyone has worked so hard to gain that respect and then, you know, doing things the way Ebony has done them. Has I'm not working hard. I just, so, where, so you don't think that I'm actually working hard? You don't think yeah, that I've worked hard. hard. That's what I, you actually think I just haven't worked hard because I look at do different and what I do isn't the same as you or the yeah, same as Katie Taylor. You're saying that I haven't had it the hard way because I'm just a little bit different. Well, because you get your clothes off to be to be seen. I get my clothes off. Um, sorry, but what does everyone else weigh in? So Clarissa Shields who just weighed in in laundry gets her clothes off too and all the girls that get their clothes off, like everyone just, now they're all just, Oh, hang on, I, I think I seen that you actually took the wraps for the for what they wore at their way in. Like, yeah, you you like there, there's, there's levels of it. Like, I mean, there's there's levels of lingerie, and then you you. I've heard interviews where you've said that you grew up around strippers and stuff, and, and you're you're bagging them out. Now you're acting like one. Bag, and never bagged, kids. never ever bagged out a stripper, ever. I, I've, I've got I grew kids. up around them. Never bagged them I've out. I've got kids. And imagine my 16-year-old son going to school and all his mates are passing around that photo of me. He'd be in punch-ons every day. And my daughter is 15. Imagine her, me just teaching her, get your clothes off. You get, get what you want in life. I'm not, but I'm not getting my clothes off. I'm I'm weighing in. Yeah. I'm weighing. I, do you get your clothes off when you weigh in? I, I wear appropriate. Yeah. Do you do you wear apparel. like tops and little shorts when you train? Yeah. Do you wear, do you see me wearing that when I train? Do you see me walking around in a little tight? Skimpy stuff when I'm training or when I'm no, I'm always in you long sleeves, long pants. I mean, it's just Wait, so nineteen like, twenties, so <laughs> like telling women what they need to do. Okay, you know what I mean. Well, I'm not. I'm you just know, saying. If it wasn't for me, if it, to do, I'm just saying. You know what? If it wasn't thing, for me, like you wouldn't it. be. It's trashy. Wasn't me, you wouldn't be on this platform. You wouldn't be mm. getting seen globally. You wouldn't be getting the biggest payday of your career. So you can say I've respected. Let's talk about that biggest payday. Why? Why was it that we went in so hard? You can say I've disrespected the sport. But I'm pretty sure there's a like f because of me, you're here and you're gonna make good money. 
and you're going to get actually people know who you are outside of fucking I don't give a shit who knows who I am and I don't give a shit about the money I don't do this sport for that if I did do this sport for the money I'd be a fucking idiot <laughs> really but boxing is different to me boxing saves my life I mean you gotta it, do it for it's money different to me you're putting your you're putting yourself at risk you don't want to make money then why didn't you well, accept obviously no one wants to it out but I'm not doing this for the short-term fame of boxing of of okay. being a social media star Okay. I couldn't give a shit about social media. I, I'm, you know, you, you carry on like I've got no confidence and you're full of confidence. But if you were so confident, you wouldn't be constantly begging for validation every five seconds. Where am I? You wouldn't be messaging begging my sparring validation. partners asking how I go. I don't need validation. Okay. I don't need validation. Let's 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 talk about Ebony's rise to the world championship. Uh, As certainly she's built a profile through doing things her way. But also at the same time, you know, we've seen the work that she's put in coming here and the, the improvements as well. I mean, she got the opportunity against Shannon Courtney, not as a matching fighter, just someone that was building a profile. And, you know, I acknowledge as a promoter, she was the opponent for that fight because of the profile she'd started to build. But the improvements that we've seen over here in the time that she's put in, certainly the performance against Cecilia Roman, a bona fide world champion do you start to give her credit now as a fighter and how do you see this fight as a challenge for you because i feel like two years ago from those comments you would have thought this was a much easier fight than perhaps it is now yeah of course i mean and i mean that's one part that you haven't pulled out of my interviews i have said that she's improved she's improved heaps and and the whole fake it till you make it thing ebony did that she made she 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 was a nothing that has learned on the, she's learned on the job and and she's doing well. She's she's definitely. I mean, she beat Roman, um, and good on her. But I I, I don't. I it's, it's sort of hard to say. Like I mean, I I believe yes, it's a challenge. I don't take anyone lightly. I I fight. I, I train for everyone like they're a world champion. So you know, the whole taking me lightly thing is that's not non-existent in my world. Um, but it, it's definitely a challenge. But it's not a big. It's not as big of a challenge as what I've taken before. I think for both of you in this for both of you in this fight, obviously Ebony had that little bit of sort of beef with Shannon Courtney as well. But again, going back to comments or one of your comments, which is fair and standard in boxing, where you said like you're really, really excited to punch her in the face for 10 rounds. Like, you know, you said, I think you said I don't I don't really predict a knockout. And actually I, I hope that it's not an early knockout because you know I, I really want to punch her over 10 rounds. And and that there's I like this rivalry. Because genuinely, I get the feeling you two really don't like each other. Again, bizarre that you haven't met, but, you know, you would like to go in there and do a job on her on December 10th. Absolutely. But, I mean, I'm like, to be honest, I'm, I'm like that. You know, when I get in the ring, I want to break that person in every way. I want to break him physically, mentally, everything. But, you know, it's, it's this little bitchy social media crap that, that they've got going on, it just makes it even better for me. Ebony, over to you. Obviously, you have done things your way. You've you've played out a lot of stuff and I've seen a lot of footage of stuff that Shannon's said. Do you feel like an outsider in the industry sometimes? I mean, when I was in Australia recently, it's quite a small community and everybody knows each other and a lot of people are excited about this fight. Yeah, um, I don't feel like an, uh, an outsider. I think I'm, you know, like, like I, I feel like, especially now I'm well accepted, I think I've you know, my performances are speaking for themselves. Even my performance against Shannon and Courtney respect for itself. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, of course, I'm a world champion and that speaks for itself. But um, I don't think I'm now. So I'm just different. I'm just myself. Do you know what I mean? And I just do what's good for me. You know, um, I'm in this sport because I love boxing, but, you know, I'm also going to capitalize on everything as well. You know what I mean? I'm not a dummy. You know, I'm, I'm older and I know that um, boxing's not going to be around forever. So, you know, I do a lot of things to build. Um, not just boxing, but, you know, my future. And I think that's intelligent, you know. But when I'm on the job and I'm focused, which I am and the reason I moved over here to the UK is so I could train with Mark Tibbs and have the best coaching and the best best training and the best opportunities to win and keep winning and keep improving so I can go on and do what my goals are to collect other belts. Do you know what I mean? And I've done all that and I've sacrificed that to do that. Um, and I just think my message is just, you know, be you, be real. And if that's what you want to do, should do it. I don't think anyone should ever judge you. You know, I've been saying that from day one with the whole, you know, this is just Shannon Courtney bloody all over again, to be honest. It's the same script, so I feel like I'm repeating myself. But really, it's just, you know, like you don't judge someone on what they do and how what they wear and, you know, all this kind of stuff. It's 
what really when it comes to the boxing it's inside of that ring and I think I've proven myself um I train you know I train in my training you can talk to Mark you know you know everyone knows that um I'm worthy of this belt and more um and yeah I just keep pushing that message and people can keep judging but you know not everyone's the same and and people can have different opinions but I think I inspire a lot of people out there and I make a lot of people be okay to to embrace femininity embrace what they love and to love who they are and um I don't think that's a problem at all I don't think there should ever be any judgment you know and I talking about Shannon how, how she has a daughter and a son I mean I inspire that many young children and that many kids to go after their dreams and chase their dreams and not let anyone hold them back or put them down or bully them or you know say this and say that you know I think I've never said a bad word about Shannon about her boxing I've never bring her down nothing like I've just said that you know I think that she, I think that she's a little bit insecure and all that, and that's okay. And other than that, like, I mean, I know she's a pioneer of the sport, in, especially in Australia. She's well-respected. You know, I've always said that. And um, But I just think it's my time now. This is, you know, I'm the next generation and and um, it's, it's, it's a different era. So, you know, I'm looking forward to showing her leads, giving her a real show. Shannon, I saw a couple of smiles there from you during during those. <laughs> oh, the contradictions that comes out of this girl is ridiculous. Never said a bad word about me. Never said, never put me down. Oh, my God. Whatever. Ebony, talk about the way that you do. Do you understand the criticism as well? I mean, you know, because it is obviously the way you've done things is completely different. And I, I get the argument. Obviously, I, I know you. I get the argument of people coming in and, and people like Shannon that have been in the sport for a long time looking for opportunities. You have fast-tracked your way there, but yep. there's been a method to the madness in, in that sense. And it, you've, yeah. you've basically got to where you wanted to get much quicker. I mean, I fast-tracked. I think it's, it's not just because I get my clothes off. That's not the only thing that's fast-tracked me. Do you know what I mean? You can think about the generation that we are. Women's boxing is on the rise. I came in at the right time. Do you know what I mean? I also use my like my personality. Of course, it's all about building. Like it's boxing is a business. Like I mean, and I knew that from the start. You know, and it's about you know um, being known and getting your space out there. I would spend thousands of dollars just to go to America to be at fights to be seen. I spend money to come over here. I spend I put out so much money. Do you know what I mean? To give myself those opportunities, and I sacrifice a lot. You know, and um, it's not just like oh, I'll just get my clothes off and here I am. Like I had to force myself and put myself there. I was doing interviews on on you know online at like 2 a.m in the morning or like 4 a.m like all through lockdown to yeah build my p profile because if you're not known how are you going to get opportunities like that's just that's just standard do you know what I mean like if you've got a business how are you going to get known if no one knows about your business it's the same thing so yeah um that's just boxing and how it works I'm not naive to that but you got to back it up with skills and I can back it up with skills and that's what I do and you know as for you know the lingerie far out like it's kind of like when are we going to stop talking about that? It's literally underwear. Everyone's doing it now. Like, it's like, just get over it. Like, it's, you know. Talk to me about the fight. I mean, I know that obviously our plan was to have a voluntary defence against an easier opponent. You know, we, we appreciate this is a, a tough fight and you, yeah. you know you knew this was mandatory. You accepted that mandatory. This fight, had, you know, we have the history of the social media talk, but also we have the history of you seeing Shannon growing up, you know, coming into boxing, sorry, and watching her been around for a long time representing Australian boxing. You you see this as a serious challenge, but I know also you believe you win this fight by knockout. Yeah, definitely. Of course it's a challenge, you know what I mean? She's, um, well, I mean, she's experienced about the same as Roman. She's experienced, you know what I mean? She's a little bit more, um, a bit more active, but I just think that she hasn't been up against anyone like me. I mean, I haven't been up against anyone like her, but I'm, I'm very confident in myself. Do you know what I mean? Um, I am very confident and I know of my strengths and I just think that they're just better. Um, and that's why, you know, I'm just confident. So, and I, yeah, I, I know that I believe that I have the power and the ability to knock her out. Um, but she's also a tough Aussie. So we'll see. I know it's going to be a great fight and I'm glad that it's on DAZN and Matrim so the whole world can see it because I do believe if it was in Australia, it would have just been seen by like a handful of people. So I am excited to show two Aussies go hard at it. Shannon, obviously you're on the ground in Australia. What's the feedback been from this fight? I'm sure there's a, a mix as always as there in when there's a big domestic fight. A lot of people around you want to see you beat Ebony Bridges. I'm sure she's had her support from, from the community as well. But real interest in this fight. And, you know, coming off a, a period of Taylor Serrano and, and Bauer, uh, Mayer against Baumgardner and Shields Marshall, 
this also has a huge amount of interest this fight and and really a must win fight for you as well at this stage of your career must win fight for both of you yeah it's it there's a lot of um a lot of excitement about it um i haven't really i don't even read comments and stuff like i mean oz boxing australian boxing central they all do posts i don't even read any of it because you know like i i believe in what i'm doing so i don't need to i don't need people to be telling me i'm going to win or telling me she's going to win i don't i don't care about that stuff i've got confidence in what i'm doing every day and and you know i've actually turned all my notifications off on social media i don't i barely go on there i go on their post and then i get off so i don't see a lot of it um but you know i i do believe uh, there's a lot of a lot of most mainly all the old school people in this sport um want me to win just because of of who i am and where i've been and what i've done um but i mean i'm sure ebony's probably got the same amount of support from her side of the Australian fans as well. So, I mean, it, it's it's an exciting fight. Uh, like, it's not, you know, there ain't no one going to be playing Tiggy in this ring. So, you know, she comes to fight, I come to fight. And it's it's going to be it's going to be exciting. Yeah, in that respect, I've seen you fight before. Obviously, we know what Ebony brings as well. This this has got the makings of a great fight because obviously, Absolutely. not just the bad blood, but the styles as well. Both both of you love to come forward and, and engage, and and it should be a, a thrilling fight. Absolutely. And I'm like, I mean, anyone that's known anything about my career, my career ever knows that I'm not in this for for the easy way in. I, I'm not in it for an easy fight. I want the hard fights. I want to win the hard fights. And, you know, I've, I've been in some hard fights. I've, I've, I've fallen short and I've been in other people's countries where, you know, it possibly could have gone my way. But I, I believe that I, I've I'm I'm definitely more than ready for this this time. And it's, uh, you know, I've, I've, I know that I've got to win convincingly enough to get the decision. Just going back to one one point on, you know, the way that Ebony's got there as well, you know, do you feel that in the, the world we live in nowadays that sometimes, you know, that, that ability to be social media savvy, I mean, I think one of the comments was, you know, you've heard it on here that, you know, it's, it's trashy the way that she's gone about her business as well. But also, we can't deny the speed that she's got there as well. Obviously, for you, you've been on this grind for a long, long time to get this biggest moment of your career but pleased that you you've done it that way yeah I mean like I'm not I everyone's different right so Ebony's done things her way I'll do things my way and I don't regret that like you know she's obviously happy with the way she's done that and and that's social media these days everyone's all over social media doing the same shit I don't like it and and you know I, I don't want I, I'm I do boxing for a different reason um it, it wasn't ever a just I'd never just woke up and said oh, my career choice is I'm going to be a professional boxer and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be rich off it. Like boxing literally saved my life. And still to this day, I, like I train for my own life. And so this is more a legacy thing for me. And and it's never been about quick short-term fame. Um, so, you know, I, Ebony done things her way and good on her that they worked for her. It's just not what I believe in. Um, so, you know, to me, it is trashy, but that's not, I'm not saying, you know, she didn't do what whatever she believes in. Like, that's fine. Like, not everyone has to believe in the way I do things. That, that Like, that's cool. But this is just my opinion. And when I've said anything I've said, I don't take it back because it is how I feel. I haven't actually talked. I mean, yes, I talked to get the fight happening. I talked to to push for the mandatory. We, we fought for months. We were fighting for this fight before she fought with Roman. Um, and we fought for months to get it to happen. So yeah, obviously I did the interviews. I did all the talking. I got the fight. Now I'm I'm just training. The the one interview you gave in the ring, which was you know, around that time of building it, was that you will punch holes in that girl. Is that was that hype, or do you, do you honestly believe that you will will you will do that and you will stop her on December tenth? Oh uh, look, I mean, when I said that, it was the adrenaline was pumping through me. I just I literally just sport for the first time since my surgery and um but yeah you know that's obviously the plan um I don't know whether there'll be a stoppage when she fought Shannon Courtney she obviously showed how tough she is and that she can take a beating um so you know I'm not predicting a stoppage but there's going to be shots coming at her a lot more than Roman threw that's for sure and Ebony for you as well I know that you know everyone's kept it fairly professional on this school we're going to have a great fight week build up in Leeds as well but Something inside you as well. We know you love to fight. You talk about punching holes in in people. I guess that's what you want to do as well. I know you'll be under instructions from Mark Tibbs, but you know you you want to go in there, and I know you love to to let him go. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, um, I want to make a big statement again, you know, like I always want to do in my fights. Um, you know, for me, Shannon's just in the way <clears throat> in the way of my goals, you know, and I just want to, you know, got to destroy that and move on, you know, and I just want to, I, I would love to, you know, just really make a big statement with Shannon and, and, you know, I would love to stop her, but the same thing she says about me, she is tough. We are, us Aussies are known to be tough, but I do know that it's going to be a, an epic fight. Um, It's it's probably going to, it's definitely going to be one of my best fights because I just know how much better I'm getting and I'll be in there. I'll be wanting to take her out. You know, I'm not there to box around and play around with my food. You know what I mean? So I will want to take her out. If I see the opportunity, then of course I'm going to take it. And finally, last question for both of you, Shannon, Obviously, you, you've been on the grind, as you said, for many, many years. This is a big opportunity. This is a world title fight. This is a big platform. This is a big money fight as well. But what sits on the end of it is huge opportunities in women's boxing right now. Obviously, to headline big cards in Australia, to be in big unification fights in the division as well. This is a life-changing opportunity. And as you said, you know, whether it's legacy, whether it's money, whatever motivates who, this has everything for you. A victory on December 10th would, would put you in an unbelievable position. Yeah, hundred percent, definitely. Ebony, yeah. final word from you as well to to Shannon. Just coming up to four weeks this Saturday now till you two meet in Leeds. You're going to be ready to go. I know you've had a long camp, both of you. Expect yeah. this fight to happen earlier, but both going to be in tremendous condition and ready to defend your world title in Leeds. Yeah, see you in Leeds, December ten, marching on together. All right, guys, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Get here safe, Shannon, Ebony. We'll see you soon. We'll see you on Fight Week.